How's everybody today? I guess you can tell that I'm looking tired. Um, down here in my food stand, I got about an hour and a half left, and I'm gonna shut it down today. Just wanted to do a video. Nothing about the food stand. I'd like to talk about some CNA activities. <laughs> As you know, I'm still, I'm still that. That's my main uh, income source, being a CNA. So, there's been some, several things going on at my home facility. So, a few weeks back, there was this one resident. I don't know if she was being combative. Sometimes she can be sweet, and then the next time you go in there, she can be the bitch from hell. And that's the true fact. So, in order to change her, um, I needed assistance from the uh, nurse. Because she had just previously lied and said some people were, uh, staff or CNAs was hitting her. So I needed to have someone in there as a witness to show that uh, all I was doing was just doing faith, should care with her. So she, this nurse, she comes in with me, with me to help, to assist. Um, she never changes a word. She's good about this part, but she's got some things too. So there's a pad, the regular bed pads that she uses in the nursing home setting. Um, and somebody had put a blanket between the pad and the patient. I'm talking like a, a, one of those thin blankets. Like, they're heavy, but they're thin layered. Just one layered blanket. Um, the night shift had done this because I hadn't had a chance to get in there that, that morning just yet to attend to this patient. So the nurse, she says something. Uh, who put this blanket under such and such? I can't really mention any names. I don't want to mention the patient's name because I don't know who might be seeing this. And um, I said, well, it had to be the previous staff because this is the first time I've had a chance to get in here to attend to this patient or this resident. Okay, she said, well, I don't like this. Okay, by the end of the shift, the, the new staff had come on duty. So she makes it a point to tell the nurse to not to tell this staff member to not do this or the CNA to not do this. Do not put blankets on the patients. Um, I never did find out what was the problem with it. I mean, because if you're short of pads and you have a heavy wetter, you're going to do what you can to keep from having to change the whole bed if the sheet's clean. You know, if the sheet's not got any stains or not messed up, just leave the sheet there. You know, and try to protect the patient between the sheet, you know, with the padding. So, it rocks on, I think, this uh, CNA and one other kept doing the, the, she kept seeing these pads or extra padding or two pads. So she goes to the DON about the situation. So now the whole facility, as far as CNAs, can only use a diaper or a pad. If you're going to have a pad, no diaper. Or vice versa. So basically, um, what she has done is tried to create an extra work habit, havoc for the CNA. And for the life of me, I can't understand what her motives, what her reasoning, because it is not, um, as far as skin breakdown, there's not one resident on that particular hall that has any breakdown. So I can't understand why her reasoning was on this to uh, you know, make trouble 
you know, but she's always been one of those nurses that she likes to police her CNAs. She stays, you know, it's like she gets involved with the CNA, you know, uh, routine more so than any other nurse. The other nurses, they don't concern themselves with what we're doing on the hall, uh, you know, or just not always trying to tell us how to do our job. Certain ones she she picks at more, I noticed, than others. Uh, me and her have had some words, but on the average, she and her, she and I have an understanding, and we don't. I don't bother her unless it's something about the patients. I don't stand around and conversate. She likes to sometimes, but uh, she's one of those people that I really don't trust no further than I can see. Um, from what I gather, this. She just went through a divorce not more than a year ago or so. Um, she's all her children have grown. I'm not sure if any of the kids are <laughs> living with her. I know her daughters are both married, and uh, they have children or trying to have children or raising their own families or something. I think she has two sons. All of these kids are by her husband, her ex-husband that left her for her. Another woman or cheated on her. Um, I really don't know her deal. Uh, why she's just so uh, always trying to make trouble for CNAs or police to CNAs uh, more so than anybody. I don't know. As far as LPN, I don't see their job. Their job, from what I see, she gives medications maybe once or twice in a shift. She does some stuff on the computer. Other than that, she's not a very busy person. So if your job is not hard, why are you making it hard on somebody else? Why would you? As an LPN in the nursing home, say so that that's one reason I know I would never want to be a nursing uh, a LPN and work in a nursing home because basically you're going to school to just give medications because you're not really using much else. I mean, you may do some wound care every now and then. Most of your job is going to just be distributing medications. I got to order. I need to cook. Uh, so I'm going to continue to talk as I cook this order. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about this matter. And you can give me some input on what you think about this particular nurse. Have you experienced anything like this? Uh... On your job as a CNA working in a nursing home or hospital, but what is your take on nursing home nurses that um, is intruding with the CNA on the floor? Because most of the time, when you're doing your shift, you don't really need a nurse to tell you how to run your business as far as uh, patient care because everybody's routine gets a routine and they do it they don't run to the nurse asking her how to uh, do this or do that you know you know your thing you know what you're supposed to do when you go in when you go on shift because I, I know when I go in you know um, Within an hour after getting there, we're serving breakfast, and then you go into your morning uh, schedule as far as bathing and getting the re the residents ready for that day into your 12-hour shift. So, and, and you know, she usually she's unless you asked her or need her help, she's usually up there at the desk, you know, after she gives her medications. Um. But yeah, this has been on my mind for about a week. It, I was very upset when it was first going on because this other CNA uh, is a male 
and he he would text me about some things that had been happening, but uh yeah. Just, if you would just give me your input, what you uh, what have you experienced, what you think's going on with this nurse, um, and all of up. All right, peace and out.